In this video, we're gonna be talking about the new 2018 grips from Lampkin. Let's go bets around. Hit the ball! Hey guys, David Folk here on this channel. We do golf club reviews, geek speak videos, instructional videos, and golf gear videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. But in general, I feel like we don't talk about grips enough. I, it's one of those that we all need them. We all go out and buy them. We all probably spend 30 to 120 bucks a year on new grips, depending on how much you want to replace them. But they don't necessarily get the hype of, let's say, the driver or the fairway woods or the irons, right? Because they're not as glamorous. So I want to give a shout out to David Wheatley at Mediate Limited for supplying me these new Lampkin grips. I'm excited to do a review of them. I have them here in my hand. I'm looking at installing them pretty much after we're done with this review. And then I'm going to give you an on-course type of review with them. I'm going to hit shots with them to really talk about how they feel on the club as we hit shots. So today we're talking about Lampkin's new grips in their 2018 lineup. It's going to consist of the TS1, the Sonar, and the Comfort Plus. All of them are going to have a hybrid proprietary blend of materials that's a little softer than rubber. They're also going to have some micro texturing as well as a little bit less taper than a traditional grip that we're talking about. So let's get into it, talking about the TS-1 going with the Sonar and the Comfort Plus. So in talking about the TS-1, there are a couple of features that this one has. The first one's going to be the functional control zone, and this has kind of a zigzag feature on here on the red. And as I've been holding this grip, I could definitely tell it's going to give me a little bit more grip, a little bit more stability down here where I feel like my hand isn't going to be sliding off and on versus something like on the black that doesn't have that same micro texture texture zigzag look. I can definitely see my thumb rolls off of this one much more than it does on the red there. You can see how much more jittery it's going to be. On the handle itself, it has that same micro zigzag texture and then it has rubber that has no texture running down the lines of it. And that feels very structured. This grip in general feels structured to me. Um, not necessarily super stiff, right? Because it's easy to be bent. You can kind of wiggle it and you can see that it's it's not really floppy, but it definitely has some rubbery feel to it. So it gives you a little bit of a feel, but I feel like it's going to give you the control that you're looking for, a little bit more performance-based grip. More performance than feel, but you're not necessarily swinging a rock hard grip. Again, we talked about it having less taper than a standard grip. I would assume maybe one to two wraps. It doesn't feel like like an MCC plus four where it's kind of parallel or, or even all the way down. It has a little bit taper on there. You can definitely tell that. So I'd say maybe one to two wraps, so to speak, uh, of taper on there so that you're not getting that standard taper. It gives you a little bit more hand grip on the bottom if you're interested and if you like that. Next, we have the Sonar from Lampkin. And it has similar ridges on the top, proprietary hybrid micro texture technology. Interesting about this sonar grip, it has the ridges right here on your top hand. So it gives you a little bit more feel, a little bit more tackiness right here with your top hand as well as on your bottom hand. It also has the same uh, micro ridges there. It has a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more tackiness than the TS1 that we just talked about. More tacky than a Tour Velvet. And, and Lampkin is saying that this is going to be the grip for mostly the, the, the vast majority of golfers. It has a soft feel, tackiness, texture so that you can hold on to it and not to squeeze the grip to death. They're saying that this is going to be best suited for the, the widest variety of golfers that like this kind of texture. I will be interested to see how this performs on the club versus the TS1 to really see if I like the structure of it, and if I like the tackiness and maybe the little bit softer feel that this grip has versus the TS1. It's gonna be an interesting one. Finally, we're talking about the Comfort Plus, and this is the grip that is different from the Sonar and from the TS1. This has a completely new different material called the DSX material, which is going to be super soft, which you guys can see based on just holding it right here, you can see how soft and flexible it is. They're also saying that this is going to be better than any of the other grips in this category. Round after round, it's gonna hold up much better than other grips that have this similar rubbery, super soft feel. 
A couple of things to note about the Comfort Plus is it doesn't have that proprietary micro texturing on the grip. These lines right here, the red, the white, the red, the white, those are going to be tacky, really tacky, plain rubber, no texturing whatsoever on here. And it's going to be super tacky. I mean, you can see like I'm pushing on it and it barely moves as opposed to up here. You can see my thumb moving for pretty much the same pressure. I mean, it's, it's really tacky. It definitely is going to be really good for those who want that tacky kind of feel on the top hand it's also very tacky it's not structured whatsoever i mean you, again you can see how flexible it is versus let's say the ts1 when i hold the ts1 you can see how much it bends the the comfort plus is like a bow right it's almost like a smile Comfort Plus also has a reduced taper, one to two wraps again is kind of what I'm feeling like. Uh, for those who want a little bit thicker bottom hand to reduce potentially the, the grip down there to give you a little bit more control, a little bit more uh, feel and responsiveness uh, is what Lampkin is saying while they're doing that. So again, I would say structured, medium structured, probably suited for the majority of golfers and for those of us who like super soft tacky grips the comfort plus is the winner for that one so let me know guys what you guys think about the comfort plus the ts1 and the sonar which one would you choose based on what you're hearing you like more of a structured grip this is going to be the one for you you want more of a medium middle of the road grip or you want a definite soft rubbery grip let me know post those in the comments down below which grips do you currently use would you be interested in switching to lampkin if you don't use lampkin and these three i look forward to hearing those comments while you're down there guys go ahead hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up because youtube likes that thanks for watching and we'll chat with you next time gonna do a new test the wiggle test which is going to tell you absolutely nothing about the grips but I feel like it's kind of fun the TS1 you have that much wiggle the sonar you have that much wiggle the comfort plus you have that much wiggle which is going to tell you absolutely nothing about the grips but I feel like it's kind of fun